Now coming up very soon, Chef Mark's making a chicken korma in the Beko kitchen. But to travel now, and I bet you've all daydreamed, I've certainly daydreamed about this, about selling everything, jumping on a plane and exploring the world. Well, our next guests did just that, and they took their four young children with them on an adventure of a lifetime. Welcome Erin and Paul Austin, and kids too, from oldest to youngest. We've got Brittany, Lulu, Gus and Roy, good morning to you all. Hi, good morning. It is such a pleasure to have you in the studio. Erin, uh, let's start with you. Yep. What made you leave your life and jump on a plane? Um, we realised that we could, that it wasn't something that was so unachievable or just needed to be a dream, that it was actually something that we could, could do, that the, the cost of doing a budget trip was similar to the cost of just staying at home. Well, just like hanging out at home. So yeah, exactly. What were you hoping to achieve by it? What, what was the goal of it all? We wanted to spend a year together. We'd worked, you know, really hard and we'd had obviously a big family. Ten years of having yes, lots have. of children. <laughs> so we wanted to spend a year together and that's really exactly what we did. And we left and were together 24-7 for a year. And that is uh, eye opening for anyone, particularly for a family travelling. Where did you want to go? Uh, we, we had a rough idea. We definitely wanted to go to America and we wanted to go to Europe and we wanted to go to Asia. Wow, and you managed to get all those countries we and did. a lot more as well. Yeah. So Paul, how long did you spend planning and, and prepping for this trip? Um, it was about seven or eight months from Erin to up go with the idea. The, and great idea, us, Aaron, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah us leaving. <laughs> Um, and in that time, we renovated, sold our house, sold everything, and hit the road. So you sold all your stuff. Everything. Did the kids sell all their toys? Yep. So everything there was like massive garage sales going on. Yeah, well, they had they got one box, and we didn't judge them on it. They could put whatever they wanted in that box. There was some stuff I wouldn't have kept, but <laughs> that was their choice. Yeah. Um, and that was it. One little box each, and everything else. So they was had sold. something to come back to. Yep. And what did your friends think? What was their reaction? Um, we didn't really care, <laughs> um, but some might have had an opinion that they probably didn't voice, but at the end of the day, everyone seemed happy for us and supportive. I think a lot of people would have been wishing that they could do or yeah. had the guts to do exactly what you do because it's a big step selling up everything and taking off for a year with your family. Yeah, definitely. So, so Lulu, um, you, what was the best experience that you had? From the whole trip? It was probably meeting elephants and going dune bashing. Wow, where did you do that? In um, Dubai. That would have been fantastic. Because mm. you guys all celebrated two birthdays all around the country, all, all around the world. So where yeah. were all the birthdays celebrated? So Roy was in Thailand. <laughs> Lulu was in Venice. We woke up in Venice. Brittany was in America. America. Mm -hmm. Gussie was in Croatia, which was amazing. Awesome. I was in the Czech Republic in Prague. And, and I was in... Malaysia. Malaysia. Oh, oh yep. How fantastic. Yeah. Um, Gus, what was yeah. the food that you loved the most from the trip? I liked the smooth and the roti in t t Thailand. Thailand. Mm, yeah. yeah, they are very good. I've sampled those. They're excellent. Uh, Roy, <laughs> let's talk about the animals. Roy, what were the animals? What was your favourite animal? Snakes. The snakes. You love the snakes. Did you touch a snake? Daddy stood on a snake and nearly died. <laughs> oh, where did he do that? In Prague. The snake was about the size of a worm, but... See, the right. places that you think you're going to see on a snake, Prague would not be one of the places that no, I would think. No. Hey, Brittany, what, was, what for you? Because you're, you're a little bit older. How old are you now? Yeah. 12. What was the hardest thing for you being on, on the um, road for a year? Probably sharing a bedroom and a bed and then having limited clothes. And having to be with your fam your brothers and your sisters 24-7 can be difficult, can't it? Yeah. Sometimes. What about what about school work? How did you keep up with um with studying and things? I wrote in a journal um, most days that I wanted to. That'll be a fantastic <laughs> thing to take back too. So now that you're back, um, have your kids changed, do you think, from your experiences? What do you think, Brittany? Um, Worthwhile doing? Yes, definitely. Yeah? yeah. Would you do it all again? Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Excellent. Yes. Do you have any other trips planned? Yes. I think we all would leave In if we could, yeah. But, you know, we need to kind of re... Make some, <laughs> Make some money. Make some money, a practical one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Hey, well, it sounds wonderful. Uh, I think it's a great trip. Looking forward to seeing more about it. She should write a book or something. Uh, thank you so much, guys, thank for stopping you. by.